Namaste. Good morning. Namaste, all dear co explorers. Welcome to the morning session. So, Gita Didi have been working at the Institute of Public Enterprise as an assistant professor for the past 13 years. Uh, she started her UHP journey from February to 2022 and completed UHP introductory, UHP refresher one, refresher and UHP two by June 2022. She started participating in the morning sessions from uh, June 2022. And she's participating in the weekly meetings as a volunteer. Um, and she is regularly attending the monthly meetings and doing, she is preparing the minutes of the meeting uh, for the monthly UC meetings also. As a part of the team initiatives, she is participating in the statewide efforts for strengthening the UHP activities in the Telangana region. She is very active in this um, translation project and many other. So very active volunteer from this part of the country. Um, with this brief introduction, I welcome Gida Potraju Didi for sharing in the morning session. Didi, over to you. Please have a look at the indicators. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maya. So, a very good morning to all of you. My name is Geeta Potaraju. As Bhaiya has already introduced, I am working at the Institute of Public Enterprise. I reside at Hyderabad with my family, uh, consisting of my husband, daughter, mother, mother-in-law, sister-in-law, and her family. We all are living together at, in one uh, location. So, uh, Bhaiya has already shared about the UHV journey, which I started in February 2022. It was uh, just uh, as an institutional requirement that I was asked to attend the workshop. And once I did the introductory workshop, then the rest of the workshops I did on my own, both the UHV refresher one and UHV two. And I completed one after the other. By June 2022, I completed UHV two and I started participating in the morning meetings also. So uh, it was as if uh, I, the Institute just facilitated me uh, to come in touch with the UHV content. I was actually waiting for this to happen to me. So I'm very happy that I am a part of this uh, process. So I'm able to see that my self-exploration journey has definitely begun. And there are some small shifts also that I'm able to see within me. It may not be very significant, but surely it has uh, started. Um, According to the points that have been given here to share my shift in understanding, uh, the first one is about human being. So before UHV, uh, my view about human being was uh, the physical form, as person related to me, not related to me, neighbor, outsider, tall, short, all this was the only thing that a human being was for me. But after UHV, uh, my outlook has changed. Now I'm able to see that human being is, is a coexistence of self and body. This concept, this idea has now uh, sunk into me. Now I'm able to see this, differentiate these two things, coexistence of self and body. And the needs and activities of the self and body are different also. I am slowly able to see. And because I am seeing that my own uh, self, in, in myself, I am seeing the desires, thoughts and expectations which are continuously going on. So that is something that I am able to identify. And my conduct also is dependent on how I am feeling. That is something I am able to very clearly see. Uh, and I also I am able to uh, see that this effort which I am doing uh, in this journey, the, the knowledge that I am gaining through the UHV 
is very necessary because that's how the capacity of myself will also increase so that there is some definite conduct so that i am in harmony all the time so i am able to appreciate this aspect for sure now the second thing about nature uh, before i started uhv i was uh, i don't know i was not interested in knowing anything about uh, nature except that um, if there are some beautiful trees and flowers i would just look at them but there was nothing beyond that that was happening in me i couldn't see any connect between me and anything uh, in nature and the four orders i didn't know anything about the four orders and uh, how they are interconnected how they are um, sustaining so i didn't know anything about these things but after uhv i am able to see the connection between me and all the other units that are around me in the nature i am able to actually feel that so and i have very interestingly i have started enjoying uh, spending time closer to the nature for example i got an opportunity to go to godavari institute uh, along with sunil bhai the kind of campus they had they had so many trees they had so many fruits so many flowers a cattle just next to my room they, i could see so many cows there was a cow shed i thought this was such a beautiful place to live i really enjoyed those 3 days i never thought about anybody in my family just forgot that there is some work that also i have to do i really enjoyed so that was a very beautiful place and i have started enjoying uh being closer to the nature and i used to feel averse to get my feet muddy go into mud and all that but that has gone now i don't mind uh, making my feet uh, muddy in fact uh, i also along with my husband uh, two weeks back i visited kakinada he ha- they have some small uh, lands there so i visited there i spent some time it was so beautiful and i am able to enjoy that i can see that um, but i am not contributing i have to be uh, uh, this one important thing that i am not contributing i can see contributing anything to the nature as of now i am not doing anything uh, but i am just seeing the connection that's where i am regarding existence uh, the i am able to see that this coexistence because i feel the connection between everything i am seeing that i am a part of this existence and there is a aspect of coexistence that's that's a reality for me uh, this feeling also stays briefly and sometimes and then sometimes i am this in my uh, routine i am just doing some random things and i forget about it sometimes i get this feeling that i am connected with everything this has come to me uh, this information has come to me through uhv so i am mulling over it i'm surely mulling over it i'm 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 thinking about it sometimes i can feel it but other times it goes it's not constantly there i'm not able to see the submergence of units i'm not able to do that as of now but i'm open to work on this aspect i want to continue this effort and uh, i want to do it i am definitely interested in going that far uh, another thing struggle for existence is not a concept that i will now um, be anywhere uh, close to i will not agree to this because earlier it used to be like that that you have to struggle you have to study you have to get some degree you have to get a job you have to get married you have to have children you have to have money everything was struggle but now i am not accepting this uh, i am seeing people around me in fact my own child struggling and i uh, instead of telling her because i was also struggling in that age so instead of telling her don't struggle i am at least trying to uh, demonstrate that life is n- not a struggle so i am trying to do that um, so this is about existence that i am developing an understanding 
because in existence all the units are coexisting then where is the struggle every self every unit has a definite path so there are there's no conflict in the journey so everybody has their path and their com- comfortably moving on that that's the that's the uh, the that's the view that i am developing regarding human conduct uh, before uh, attending uhv mm, i had no great idea about what human conduct was except that there were some values surely that my parents taught me uh, how to behave and other things i was definitely following that but then this large big picture was not in front of me i just had to do respect elders don't abuse and something like this these small things don't steal don't cheat these things uh, i knew but i couldn't see the big picture that it is not just not cheating but then you know and seeing the bigger connection is also uh, is actually human conduct i didn't know this so after attending uhv sessions for more than a year i am able to see uh, this relationship uh, that exists another very important thing when it comes to human conduct now i am able to see my because it's the feelings within that is driving the whole uh, process of uh, the whole process so i am able to feel i am able to see the feelings that i have whether the feeling of relationship is there whether the feeling of opposition is there in way, in different different situations i am able to see see that and i also i am now uh, this has become a habit i now frequently check how i am feeling when i am sitting in an auto and going i sometimes check how am i feeling now just like that i do it has somehow become a habit when i am uh, i had a small Con- heated conversation then i check how i am feeling so i keep checking my feelings now and then during the day i am i am doing that uh, randomly i do that uh, as soon as i do that then it's very easy for me to uh, feel normal uh, one thing another very important thing that i have found that when i am not f- uh, when i am uh, feeling in opposition when i am in harmony when i am feeling relationship then there is no problem but when i am feeling this disharmony this opposition at that time conflicts are arising it's not first conflict is arising and then i am discomfort first i am feeling bad and then the conflict is happening and i used to feel, think all these years that my husband my mother in law my sister in law there's a big list which i had given last time in the note uh, in the sharing that all these people a trigger me but now i have realized when i am in disharmony inside i am in conflict and that can be anybody that character could be anybody the faces are changing so it is not definite that big this person is only my enemy so depending on how i am feeling the person is changing the situation is changing so ultimately uh, this is what uh, is happening the characters are changing so that's what it is so this is about the second point and when it comes to the third point uh, exercise 1 and 2 they have in fact after the first time uh, the fifth batch i joined and i did exercise 1 and 2 that was the, actually the starting point when uh, it, that was the tool that i actually i think uh, received for the first time and that is where the whole uh, thing started it was a very very good experience so in exercise 1 uh, uh, i i am now uh, after doing it for two the, this is the third batch i am the second batch i was not able to regularly join because i shifted the house but i was continuously listening now also <clears throat> so three batches after following the content now i am able to draw my attention to my, towards my feeling and as i just mentioned that i am able to see whether i am feeling relationship or opposition i am able to do that and i know that this feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable to me because i know that if i am not then the conflict part will start that much i i know um, 
and i also know that i am myself responsible for that disharmony so i am uh, constantly checking and seeing so that things don't don't, don't go i don't uh, make big fights but i don't even want to do small ones so i know that i am responsible for the disharmony and the do i used to believe that the trigger is from outside now the i know the process is other way when i am in disharmony there are fights it, it could be anybody in front of me so uh, that is the thing so the basis of most is, mo- most of these decision is preconditioning naturally preconditioning is uh, and the sanskars uh, are too heavy and they are and this whole process which i am going through along with all of you is to uh, to dilute the sanskars and Uh, be in harmony so the feeling that forms the basis for harmony is relationship and um, and that is the only thing that's acceptable i am totally in uh, seeing this um, aspect very very clearly i also see that some many of my thoughts and feelings have started they have undergoing transformation because now i am able to uh, after all this all these months maybe more than a year, year slowly i am able to see what others are uh, saying or feeling i am able to see things before i think there was i was blinded or i was doing everything i i could tick everything i was cooking i was working i was taking care of home i i was doing everything i could tick there was nothing that i was missing but i couldn't feel connection to the work that i was myself doing but now i am able to see what i am doing i am able to see what the other person or what the other unit is uh, what is happening to the other unit that much i am able to see uh, very clear for instance uh, i used to uh, there is the lingering feeling of uh, uh, some some lingering dis- disharmony would always be there i used to get up in the morning i used to cook i used to i i do cook well and because everybody tells me at home that i cook okay and they eat but i was not feeling the joy i was just doing then just going to the office never liked my work never liked not that never liked but most of the time disinterested but now i am seeing there some fresh lease of joy that has come in said i'm able to, even when i'm cooking i'm seeing that the spices are mixing with the vegetable i'm able to see that there is some new enthusiasm and that has come into me and i'm so glad at this age now i think i can go for a longer time uh, doing things with a lot of joy and i'm very happy about it i'm able to feel connect when i'm cooking i'm happy actually sometimes if the dish is coming out well i used to buy medicines for my mother i used to do everything for her before also but i never bothered about how she was feeling i was only happy that she is safe but now i am going going beyond that i sometimes see when i am come back from work i see uh, she is sitting alone she is lonely i am able to see that and then i don't know how much i am doing spending time with her but i am at least able to see that she is sometimes lonely then i sit and watch some serials with her i talk to her so i'm able to see that oh she is now all alone that much i'm feeling regarding my daughter also she used to have lot of stress naturally children have so much stress when she used to come and tell me something i used to also i used to do everything possible to help her relieve her stress but then i used to get so much bogged down and stressed myself but now the same thing is happening in in fact it is multifold now because she has grown up but i am not taking the stress i am kind of normal i am able to listen to her and whatever solution i think i can offer to her i am doing it may not be useful to her also that much also i know but i am not getting bogged down that's a that's a major shift that i am seeing that has happened to me and regarding exercise to observing the self and body this was something very very 
um, not easy for me in the beginning i used to keep asking charmila didi every time how do we how can these two units be separate because i think i was only considering myself to be this body it was uh, uh, quite a, uh, a task for me in the beginning but slowly i was able to uh, see that these are two units and that's how the the i am seeing that i the relief that i have got i think is because i am able to now see that these are two different units and uh, their needs are different and all those things i am able to see this awareness has helped me uh, to feel good about myself and, and more i am able to lead a more uh, healthy and healthy life uh, i am able to see this interaction between the self and the body uh, the exchange of information i am able to see all this that uh, you know walking talking eating all these actions are the the basis on which i am i am seeing that this is the body and also i am able to recognize now i am able to actually the distance between the self and the body i am able to feel that not just for myself i am able to sometimes i feel when i see somebody i i'm also able to feel that you know uh, they these are two units that much of feeling i get sometimes that there are uh, these are two units coexisting i'm able to see that and others behavior the physical chemical changes and other events uh, have surely reduced their effects on me after i have uh, attended the uh, session and the workshop more it slowly definitely slowly reducing not that it has completely gone because i am surely get triggered uh, by some very very uh, sensitive i am i'm sensitive about certain, certain things just yesterday i got triggered because um, i am uh, gotten up so many things but now i have the thing is come down to very one or two or three things i have a tulsi plant in front of my house and uh, i am very possessive about the tulsi plant so because i my mother does puja i do puja so i saw somebody uh, one of the family members just come and put some water so i get a little unhappy that whether they you know i'm very protective about it now i'm i uh, first i used to feel bad when my husband used to um, spend a lot of money for everybody i used to say are mere liye kya bachega i'm not worried about that now but then i'm worrying uh, yesterday i really felt bad that everybody was using my tulsi because it's a, i have this uh, this preconditioning that uh, this puja has to be done for me so these things are still very big in my mind and i think it will take a long time for me to um, get rid of this so um, regarding the placement of self and body and space space is something that i I'm, i'm still not able to uh, submergence and all that i'm not able to see as yet but i'm willing to explore further on this changes in my living uh, surely as i as i just mentioned that the uh, the the lingering feeling inside of discomfort and uh, disharmony has has uh, minimized to a very very great extent before uhb um, i was doing my routine work but that underlying that feeling was there and that was uh, making everything i was feeling bogged down really bogged down i was not not showing it to anybody but some somewhere inside i was feeling that but after this uhb i got exposure to the uhb and my constant um, connection with the content i'm there's a lot of comfort that i am feeling i this is a refreshing change in my life on the whole i cannot pinpoint on something and say this this refreshing change has uh, uh, led to harmony in my relationships 
joy in my day to routine work i think that's the most important thing that i see this is the biggest achievement because if i'm able to because the normal things are the things that i'll have to do if i'm able to cook happily if i'm able to uh, look around things now i am not very uh, fussy about um, getting new things or for uhv there is a small room which i created in the small uh, i want to do my sit there and do my work so there was a chair lying i took the chair there was a my father had bought it uh, sent a table it was lying for the 30 40 years i took that and kept so otherwise i used to just go buy one chair table and put there but now that feeling has set in definitely i am not uh, wasting money that's why now i am not bothered if my husband is spending money i don't care but this i am stuck with the tulsi plant i hope i am i get over that also so this is and these changes are though my body is heavy my mind has become light now and i am feeling light even i am able to walk so well before i was not able to walk also much i was just sit in the car go from here there uh, sit in the bus go sit in the auto now i'm walking i am interested also in walking i am able to do work with my body feeling so much grounded and i'm very happy so i want to continue that so this is some this is one very important change that i see in my life commitment to uhv work i'm actually spending two to two and a half hours like that most of the days two to three hours i started participating in the morning sessions from june fifth batch and i am continuing and i will continue i attend both english and hindi sessions i will continue attending morning sessions uh, always and i participate in the weekend follow up meetings and sometimes i attend the esip and holistic health meetings also i like to attend because there's so much of information that uh, sir gives there i take up the roles as assigned to me and uh, voluntarily also there are some things i do as bhaiya just now said i am uh, noting the minutes and uh, there are uh, this these things i am doing i also do some other small roles depending on the requirement in the weekend meetings and i am uh, involved in other volunteering activities also i do some calling and all that yeah, actually kumar bhai had given us a list of uh, people in the uh, co explorers in the morning session who had missed for some time so i had spoken to a couple of them and uh, it was a very good experience you know i uh, i actually enjoyed talking to some of them because so many things uh, i could kind of learn so many things from them there were one or two people um, rathi di uma rathi di di i spoke to her she was she spoke so so long with me and she told so many nice things because she is associated with this for a very long time so it was good conversation so during this volunteering activities there are so many benefits actually uh, for our personal growth because there are so many people who can contribute to our uh, well being so that it's a very good experience i am a part of the telangana team as bhaiya said and we are slowly uh, trying to build our team though it's a very slow process but we are uh, trying to do it this is all i have to share about my uhv journey uh, thank you very much let us listen from uh, shamla didi regarding her remarks and comments upon the sharing of gida didi and the questions shamla yes. didi over to you yeah yeah so very very nice sharing gita ji thank you um, i can see that you have spent some time um thinking about this introspecting what you are going to share and also to be able to put forward how your perspectives have changed you did it in a very honest very sincere manner and uh, i think as many people have shared many people could relate to it i can also see the shift that you are mentioning 
uh, which is quite evident from your sharings, that a lot of exploration has gone into it, a lot of um, introspection, a lot of, lot more awareness than before. As you mentioned, this very important point that when you are in disharmony, when you are already disturbed, then it could be anybody that could trigger this um, reaction. This is, I think, one of the very significant um, observations that makes a huge difference on what you are sharing, that your joy, your happiness level has increased, or at more moments you are calm, you are happy. This is a natural outcome of the exploration. And I think this is what, um, you know, before the exploration, when we are trying to analyze the situations, we don't see this. So many people ask, you know, but how can you be calm when the other person is shouting and how can you feel different when somebody else doesn't understand? And all of those complaints, they die down mm -hmm. when you're able to see that you can be calm mm -hmm. despite everything. Nothing has changed outside, but your whole perspective changes. And what you mentioned, you know, the jobs, the, even the, the, um, the kind of work that we do on a regular basis, which may have seemed very tedious, very um, monotonous. Now there is a new sort of joy in it. And you find that you can do uh, almost anything joyfully. It all depends on how I'm feeling inside that makes the difference. And I think this is an extremely important observation that you have been able to make. And perhaps this is one of the reasons why you are able to experience so much more calm and so much more happiness in your life. Um, when it comes to nature, I was just thinking simple things like when you go to the to buy vegetables, not to use plastic bags, maybe to use something um, that is more sustainable, use a cloth bag. Things like this at a you know, very minute level, you can see that you may already be doing many things. And so you can reflect on such changes that you can make in yourself. And like you said, you know, um, regarding, say, the plants or something that you are what we call possessive about. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. So as long as I think of it as mine, <laughs> that's where the problem comes. Actually, if you see, what we have done is probably put the seed, maybe watered a little bit, mm -hmm. but the rest of it is happening on its own. Mm -hmm. I plant a tree in my yard, I call it mine. Mm -hmm. If it is planted outside, it is not mine, outside my yard. So we label okay. these things as mine or not mine based on our own preconditionings. And that's where the problem starts. Mm -hmm. Because when I think that this is mine, I'm hesitant to share with others. But if I see it as a gift of nature, then I have no problem. Then I don't feel the need to keep it to myself. In fact, it becomes natural for me to share. So, but to be able to put this across sincerely, to be able to say all this, to be able to highlight your shortcomings and put it across in such a sincere manner, I think, it was very nice to hear your sharing. And I was very happy to hear the changes that you have been able to experience from 
the earlier sharings till now so all the very best to you very nice explanation very good sharing thank you sharmila didi i must thank each one of the uh, co explorer uh, everybody who has contributed and helped me in this uh, the journey of revival i would say <laughs> thank you very much sharmila didi